Hey guys, welcome to Ultimate Survival Tips. I'm David, and we're gonna continue our series on 10 shelter systems. Today, specifically, we're gonna focus on one of my favorite shelters. It's something that we uh, spend a lot of time on in our classes, and that's a simple trash bag. These, I recommend three mil thick, 55 gallon or larger trash bags. So what we're gonna do now as it actually starts to rain is Big Ben, our intern. Hey Ben, how's it going, man? Good. I want to introduce you guys to Ben. Ben's 17 and he's with us for the next couple of months and spending some time hanging out with us and doing cool fun stuff like this. That's right. So before we head out and set up some shelters, Ben, the big benefit of a trash bag is you can put it in a pocket. Yeah. What other what are some other benefits of a trash bag? Backpack. Backpack. Yeah. Backpack. So stuff in your shoe. Stuff in your shoe. <laughs> Goes right in a backpack. You can even fit it in a pocket. Just really easy to everyday carry. This is something that I have in all of my smaller uh, survival and like get home bag kits. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna set up two shelters. We'll set up one where we don't need any cordage, and we'll set up one with cordage. Sound good? Yeah. Okay, okay. let's go, man. Okay, so we're gonna take a look at the first of our two shelters that we're gonna do with trash bags. This one is a cordless solution, and it's ridiculously simple, but one of my favorites because it's so effective in maintaining core body temperature and keeping you warm and dry. So all Ben's gotta do is pull his trash bag out of his uh, pack. He's gonna cut a hole just uh, below the top. Okay, and then all he's got to do is put it on. So essentially, all he's doing is a poncho without arms. Okay, then what Ben's going to do is find himself a tree. If he's got some trees around, there we go, there's a nice tree. With some cover, right now we've got a lot of leaves on these deciduous trees. But if this were winter time, he would maybe try to find an evergreen, a, a white pine, a cedar, something like that. And then he's just gonna sit down. Now, in this position with no armholes or anything, he's gonna really be able to maintain his core body temperature and he's gonna keep dry. So that's the first of our two trash bag shelters. Let's go take a look at the second one. So now we're gonna do the second of our two shelters. For this, we're gonna need two things. We're gonna need some cordage and we're gonna need a knife. So our end product is an A-frame. First thing we need to do is make a slice up the side of the bag. Now with our cut finished along the side of the bag, now we need to cut the bottom of the bag. Okay, now we've got the side and the bottom cut. So we've got a fairly sizable, almost tarp-like structure to work with. Okay, next we're gonna get our cordage out and string a ridge line that's low to the ground. All you need to do is something like a double half hitch and cinch it up tight. With our ridge line nice and tight, now Ben's gonna go ahead and lay the cut trash bag long ways on the ridge line. Just like that. Okay, all we have left to do is secure the four ends. And the easiest way to do that is to find four rocks or four acorns, something like that. We're gonna fit, put those on the inside of the tarp, kind of ball it up like that, get our cordage, and we just made a slip loop there, pull that tight, and then all we have to do is secure the end. We're gonna do that four times. Okay, now we've got each corner secured to the trash bag, and we're tied off to some wooden stakes on the ground. Last thing needed, is for Ben to go ahead and get under his comfortable shelter. And another thing, if you have a second trash bag, you can use that as a ground cloth. So Ben's six foot two, and he's crunched up a little bit in there, but this is gonna make a real nice uh, semi-permanent shelter that may even last him a week or two. So that wraps it up. That's two quick shelters that you can make out of trash bags. One without cordage and the other one a nice little A-frame if you have some cordage and a knife. Check back weekly for more videos in the shelter series and for links to all the stuff shown in this video 
and all the other shelter videos, you can go to the video description on YouTube. Okay, thanks for watching, and until next time, be prepared because you never know.